Hi everyone, my name is King Ivy and this is a custom Tableau workshop on Google Analytics with Tableau. So I'm really excited about this one just because it's Tableau makes it super easy to connect to your Google Analytics account, um, which I think gives you some flexibility. There are some really good graphics on Google Analytics, uh, but this gives you a lot of flexibility on on how to actually access your your data. So here, uh, you can here you can define what website you're looking at. In this case, I only have one. My own personal website. You can look at the date range. In this case, we're just going to look at the last thirty days um, as a as a as a point right now. So here you'll see all these different options similar when you visit the Google Analytics site. Uh, most of them, I like to use a lot of the audience one because it gives me a lot of context around who's actually visiting my website. So here I like to add, for example, the country that they're from. I like to add the browser that they're using um, and maybe one more, the language that they're speaking or what the language of their computer. And here I like to add, um, for example, the hour of the day that they're visiting my website uh, and maybe a few of the content pages. So here I like to add like what pages they visit. You see, you can hear, you can see the page path. In this case, the pages that they're visiting. And then here you can add measures. A lot of it's going to be from audience again. So I like to look at visits. I like to look at uh, users. I like to look at, for example, uh, let's go to content bounces, which is when people just visit the website once. Um, and let's just leave it like that. There's a few other ones. This is just real more of an introductory component of how to how to build out a dashboard in Tableau using Google Analytics. Okay, so the first thing I like to do is I like to just see like where are people coming from when they visit uh, my website. So you can see here, it's about fit, a lot of it's... Uh, um, the U.S. and Canada, but a few from all around the world, which is pretty interesting. Uh, people visiting the website. Perfect. So uh, here we're going to go next is, let's call this the where. Where are people visiting? Where are they from visiting my website? Um, let's talk about the when. So here if I put the hour down, you'll see it does the hour every single day. That's not really what I want. Um, so here I'm going to create a calculated field and I'm going to call this hour and I'm basically just going to take the last two characters, which is going to be the right comma two last two characters just so I can get the hour. So you can see here all the hours of the day that people come in, uh, visit. So let's say, let's look at, maybe we're going to look at it from a number of users perspective. Um, Perfect. So I'm just going to color this up a bit. Add a few different options here. Sometimes I like to do this to clearly show that for whatever reason, people are visiting my website at noon. And we can, uh, uh, so let's talk about this is the when. And then let's go here and let's look at the, the, the what people are looking at. So, okay, let's take a look at the pages. And let's look at the visits, simple bar chart. Maybe we'll do something a little bit more complex. Let's look at this from this perspective. Uh, and let's increase the size of these labels to, nope, 24 is too big, let's say 12. Uh, someone's gonna, yeah, you're gonna see some of it. And then here, we're gonna go visits. Maybe we're gonna calculate the bounce rate. So here, instead of, so bounce rate's like literally the number of bounces. But here, we can calculate the bounce rate. So how many people just visit uh, this page and then just leave? So let's go visits. It's okay. Let's color this by bounce rate and let's make this a little bit of a different uh, color range. Maybe it's blue, green diverging. So we can see here, it's pretty high bounce rate uh, for people visiting. Uh, let's add some labels here. 
Let's do some quick formatting again. This is just quick, quick formatting. Nothing too fancy here. Um, and this is obviously just last 30 days data. Okay. Um, let's talk about the how people are visiting my website. Okay. So if we do the how, a couple different options. Maybe we'll do, for example, their browser. Um, visits. Let's just do a simple uh, pie chart. So here, let's add some labels here on the different browsers that people are using. Uh, in this case, it's blank. There is none. Okay, and then let's add the number of visits here. I'm going to see whether or not it makes sense to add this way. Maybe not. No, it's too small. Okay, uh, that's fine. Okay, let's add, let's put this all together in a dashboard quickly. Just so there's something you can take a look at. See whether or not it's, it's useful for your own purposes. And then the how. Let's pretty this up a bit. Uh, the where, the where, let's modify this uh, map quickly. Add a few additional labels here. Makes it look a little bit nicer. In this case, um, The fit entire view here. I'm gonna drop some of these just because I think they're more or less self-explanatory. Perfect. Um, let's add this as an entire view. I know it look a little bit more cramped. Uh, let's center some of these titles. And let's make this entire view. So here you'll see a couple of uh, these different options. Let's talk, let's talk about Google Analytics dashboard. And then here, if we go to full screen mode, so here quickly, um, oh, I forgot to add the dashboard interactions. And if, if I'm going too quickly, I recommend that you check out um, the introductory to Tableau workshops or some of my Tableau 9 content. So here, quickly, for example, you can see when people are using Chrome, uh, what countries are they mostly from? When people are using Internet Explorer, uh, you can see exclusively North America. Um, the users that are, are visiting the site, where they're coming from. Uh, the different pages, the time of day. If you look at the noon time, you can see it's mostly North America. Uh, who's visiting at in the afternoon? Still Canada, still. Let's take a look at these other countries. Let's say, for example, China. Obviously, this is you have to take consideration the different time zones, and this may translate to something that makes sense. Um, you can see here who is visiting my reflection. So one person from Australia. And it's really just interesting dashboard that you can take a look at. Um, you can easily go back to the page source and do not last 30 days, let's say, uh, let's say last year and see how that view changes. So you can see here a lot more complexity in the data. Now noon is not necessarily the most popular, right? So, um, and you can see a lot more users from uh, from Canada and um, actually fewer all of last year versus oh, what's today today is May and that's probably because um, On this YouTube channel. I'm getting a lot more traffic from the US. So lots of different options You can take a look at traffic sources uh, a lot of really great options that you can use to enhance your charts um, And really build off what you've built out in Google Analytics so if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave it in the comment section below. Usually I get to questions back, back pretty quickly. Uh, and I look forward to speaking to you next time. Thank you.